Hey everyone, my name is Elias Peralta and today we're going to learn how to sharpen a knife on a whetstone. So today we're using a double-sided whetstone. This side is 1000 grit. It's good for just getting a basic blade back on the knife. And this is a 4000 grit and it's meant for polishing the edge of the blade. All right, so we're gonna start by putting our towel down flat onto our cutting board and hydrating it just a little bit, enough to hold the whetstone in place while we're sharpening. We wanna ensure that we're using safe practices when we're doing this. We're gonna take our whetstone out of our water. It's been sitting in the water for about 30 minutes to just hydrate it enough for the sharpening process. So we're gonna start by laying our stone flat, adding just a little bit of water on top. We don't wanna to add too much because the knife may glide across the stone and you really want it to make contact with the stone. We're gonna place our knife on the stone at a 45 degree angle raising it about three mil millimeters, which is roughly three pennies stacked on top of each other. And then we're gonna make long stroking motions up and down the stone, just like this. I like to count to 10 and then move to a higher portion of the blade. And then we'll flip our knife and do the other side just the same way. Once you feel you've gotten a nice edge on your knife, you can flip it over for the polishing stone. We're gonna add another bit of water on top of the stone because we wanna make sure it's nice and hydrated so you don't scratch your knife and then we'll begin polishing uh, the same way we began, we were sharpening. Now when you're polishing your knife, you wanna use a little bit less, less pressure because you don't wanna move your edge around too much that you worked hard to achieve with your lower grit stone. A little bit more water. We'll flip our knife and repeat the process until we have a nice sharp blade. This can take up to 20 minutes or so. After 20 minutes, we'll find a nice sharp edge and we'll be ready to cut vegetables.